Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, I decided that we're going to take a quick break from advancing our knowledge and we're going to take the information gleaned from the last video which would be about variables, if then else statements, and uh, the while loop. We're going to take that knowledge and we're going to use that to create a random number guessing game for the command line. I figure this would be a great way to get a kind of a feel for actually making a game out of the uh, information we already have, because we're already to that point. And then we'll move into adjusting this game by when we learn lists and uh, the for loop. So in our game test, we did an import of the Pi game earlier, like in the very beginning video. Um, so we're going to do an import again, but this time we're going to do an import of random. Now random is a module that already exists in Python that we can just reference, and we're going to use this to generate a random number. So we need a variable that can hold a number, so it's going to be an integer variable, so we're going to cast the integer, and we're going to do a call to random rand range, like so. And we're going to tell it we want a number between 1 and 100. So this is how this is referencing. And we'll we'll talk more about this particular syntax and what it's doing uh, later on, because we're going to eventually get to talking about classes, methods, uh, and functions. So that will be way down the line. Just know that right now, this is basically telling us that we want an integer that is from the random, and it's going to be a random range of 1 to 100. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to set our turns, which I want to be 10, just for the sake of this, this game, and we're going to set guess to 0. And the reason for this is we want to have the guess variable outside of the while loop so we can use it and reset it every time we loop. Um, I, do, I do have the option to do it strictly in the while loop, but I prefer to have it outside of the while loop, and I'll explain that later when we get into lists and for loops. So here, we're going to make a new while loop. And the condition for this one is going to be that the turns have to be greater than 0. So as soon as we hit turns of 0, this should be done. We should no longer be playing. So now that we're in this while loop, the first thing we're going to want to do is print our turns remaining. That is going to be a string cast of our turns. Then we're going to get our user input, and that is going to be an input is the question of guess a number between one and one hundred. That's what we're that's what we're doing here, guessing a number. Well, as we know, input comes in as a string, so we have to convert this to a number somehow. But we know from previous experience that if we try and convert any character that's not a valid number, it's not going to convert. It's going to give us a type error. So the first thing we want to do is see if it's even something we can convert. So I'm going to take the user input, and we're going to check to see if it is... We're going to use is digit. Now that we have that, if it is a digit, then obviously we need to put this to guess. So user input to guess, right? Well, obviously we have to cast that using int, and then we should have a valid guess. But what if it isn't? If it isn't a digit, then we're going to make sure that guess is set to zero, and we're going to make sure that we print invalid guess and then I'm going to show you this new command which is called continue what continue does is says hey if we hit this condition and we hit continue we're going to start the loop over again we're not going to continue past this we're going to we're going to we're going to continue the loop but we're not going to do the rest of the code for this loop we're done this loop this this iteration of the loop is over let's continue with the next iteration so it, let's say we have a valid digit. Now we have to start figuring out if it's in the right range. Because, you know, it, it could be 102. That's not in the range that we're guessing. We're guessing between 1 and 100. So what we need to do 
is check to see if the guess is greater than zero. But we also need to check that the guess is less than 100. And to do this, we're going to put this and right here in the middle. All that does is say this condition here and this condition here have to be met in order to proceed into this statement. There is another option of putting or. And what that means is one of these has to succeed in order to continue, not both. We want both to be correct, so we're going to go into that from here. So if the guess is equal to the number, congratulations, you know, we win. I'm going to print out, you guessed the number. Congratulations. Then we're going to go ahead and break. This is the other command for the loop. Break breaks entirely out of the loop. We're basically saying, we're done looping. You can get us out of here. We're done. We did it. But let's say it's not. The, 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 the guess is not the number. Well, let's give some feedback to our user where if guess is greater than the number, we're going to print your guess is higher than the random number. Easy, right? And then we can take turns, and we're going to minus it by 1. So this is minus equal 1. So it's basically going to say, it's the same as saying turns is equal to turns minus 1. So all we're doing is decrementing by 1. Cool. Simple, easy. Let's take this same else, else elif statement here, and we're just going to pop it out there, and we're going to, instead of being higher, we're going to go lower. So we need to change this to the less than sign. Simple. But let's say our guess is, 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 is 0, or it's 101, or 102. Well, we're going to use an else statement to catch any guess that's not between 0 and 100. And we're going to say that print invalid guess. Now, an important thing to note is that we are only decrementing the turns on valid guesses that are not equal to the number. So the rest of the time, they get to keep their guesses if they mess up. Well, what happens when we run out of guesses? We need to have at the very end here, outside of the loop, if turns equal to zero, we'll print you ran out of turns, game over. Simple. So if you can read through this, <clears throat> really quick before we run it and see if it works. We import random from the Python libraries. We create a random number between 1 and 100. We have 10 turns. We automatically set the guess to 0. Here in the turns, we, or here in the uh, while loop, we print out the turns remaining so that we know how many turns we have. And we tell it, hey, guess a number between 1 and 100. And then we take that user input, check to make sure if it's a valid digit. If it is, we, we port it to the guess. If it's not, we reset the guess to zero, and we say, hey, invalid guess, and we, can, and, we, and we continue the loop, which will loop it back to the start. But if it is a valid guess, and we've, and we've done this part here, then we continue on here to if the guess is greater than zero or less than 100. If it is not greater than zero or less than 100, we're going to tell them it's an invalid guess. If it is, then we check to see if the guess is the same as the number. If it is, then hey, you win. We break out of the loop. We're done. If it's greater than the number, we tell them it's higher than, and we, re we decrement the turns. If it's lower than the number, we tell them it's lower than the number, and we decrement the turns. If we run out of turns and the while loop exits without actually winning, then it's going to come up here and say, if turns is zero, you ran out of turns, the game is over. So here we are. If I put zero, invalid guess. If I put 102, invalid guess. If I put high, invalid guess. But if I put 50, hey, it's lower than, 
and we have nine remaining turns. So what if I do 75? Lower, wow, 80. Lower, 85. Higher, 83. Hey, I guess the number. And that is the that is basically how that works. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the, our turns to two so that we can lose very quickly. Uh, and we're going to go 50. It's lower. We're going to go 80. I ran out of turns. The game is over. So this uses all of the basic knowledge that we had from the previous video with the addition of imported random. Everything else should be stuff that we learned in the previous video except for break and continue. These are two new items. Uh, as I said, continue just tells it, hey, we're, we're done with this loop, start another loop. We're done with this iteration of the loop, start another loop. And break breaks us out of the loop saying, hey, no matter what the condition is, we're leaving this loop because we've already completed everything we needed to do here. Everything else, I believe we've already covered. I want to take a quick minute to talk a little bit more about the white space here. Um, what happens is each of these items is contained within certain pieces of it. This is the, the control flow of a program. So the while loop contains all of that content except for this if statement down here. But this if statement is containing its own content, which is this print statement. So if it's directly underneath an if statement like this and it has an indentation greater than that if statement, then that means this belongs to this. So this will only execute if this condition returns true. For example, and the same thing happens here. The while loop will only execute if this continue, if this turns condition remains true. And everything that is indented under it belongs to it. And as you can see, you can get multiple layers of that indentation. So this belongs, so this, this statement belongs to this condition, which belongs to this condition. And that's why I have the option to shrink them up like that. So I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out because that is how you can tell what belongs to what condition, because obviously it can get long and, and tedious to read through all of this. Hopefully that kind of helps solidify some of the content from the previous video and gets us prepared for the next content, which will be, uh, we're going to introduce lists and going over those lists. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to take this game and we're going to record the guesses per the turns so that we can stop them from guessing the same number twice. Because right now, if you guess 99 twice, it's going to take 99 twice and it'll decrement your turns for that. But we're going to make it so that you can stop guessing your turn, guessing twice, and we're going to make it so that you know what numbers you already guessed, so that we can just print that out with our turns remaining. So that'll be for the next video, and hopefully this solidifies the information that we had from the last video, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day.